The Federal Airport Authorities of Nigeria, FAN, has berated Adamawa State Governor Amada Fintiri for deliberately flouting public health protocols against COVID-19 at Potakat International Airport. FAN said some VIPs are deliberately thwarting efforts of the federal government in sustaining the restart of flight operations. The Adamawa State Governor refused to subject himself to security and held checks, did not sanitize and observe the COVID-19 protocols, Fan said, while condemning the conduct of the governor. The statement reads in part, Governor Al-Haji Amadou Fintiri, who arrived at the airport aboard aircraft on 14th July with eight others and who flagrantly refused to observe the airport security and public health protocols as directed by the federal government through the presidential task force on COVID-19 by refusing to have his temperature checked or being sanitized by health officials. His whole entourage of eight did exactly as he did. It however commended Shei Makainde of Oyo, who observed all protocols, subjecting himself to health checks. Former governor of Zamfara State, Abdulaziz Yeri, also refused to adhere to the COVID-19 protocols and pushed the staff of the Environment Department, who insisted on disinfecting his luggage. To tell us more on this is aviation editor with Daily Telegraph, Wale Shadari. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. What is your reaction to these actions by the VIPs? Thank you for having me. I, when the, the stories came, we were so shocked because we thought by now uh, all the VIPs would have um, uh, fallen in line and live according to the protocols or guidance given by the PTF and President Muhammadu Buhari. But what came out a few days ago, first was uh, gov former Governor Yari, and now have uh, Governor Fintiri, who really cast you know, really doubt about how we're going to fight COVID-19. It's very, very shameful. According to FAN, from what FAN has said, it's really, really shameful. And I think a lot of people have been talking about it. And okay. These two people are role models, and they should live by that because people look up to them and they feel that whatever it is to ensure that the cottage is spread of I think should be done is what a is big violation. The... Even in aviation, is a big violation. Could this be maybe a rehash of a regular practice pre-COVID-19 when VIPs flout airport guidelines? Uh, this is not the first time we'll be having uh, things like this. Even uh, before COVID-19, we've had PITs that, you know, fragrantly disobey laws, aviation rules, security rules. We have a former uh, minister of aviation, uh, sometimes was asked to undergo screening, training, but he refused. In fact, the airport manager at that particular time was really boy to Medugubi before he retired. So we've had cases like this, but we thought that with COVID-19, all our VIPs must you know, go through the protocols and obey whatever laws that are given. Uh, these laws are not just there. These laws are from WHO, they are from Nigeria and International Civil Aviation Organization, which have been domesticated in uh, Nigeria, and is a real violation if all these uh, protocols, uh, guidelines are not obeyed by the uh, VIPs. And if you remember, before that, Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria had given this guideline, and uh, even one of these VIPs that they are in, uh, their bodies should not be part of them into restricted areas. But you find out that most of them have, um, uh, are not even interested in keeping to this rule. It's really, really shameful. It's really, really shameful. Um, let me ask you this question. Um, as somebody who is in, um, on the front line, who always is around aviation matters, what, in your opinion, will be the right action to take against individuals who should know better, who should be setting examples, and they are the one currently flouting uh, guidelines? What actions should be taking against them? <laughs> I think the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria should be commended for doing whatever they have done to condemn this action. 
I think the, the aviation regulatory body should go a step further. This matter should be escalated to the extent that anybody that violates this protocol uh, should be blacklisted by the airlines. The airlines should not even pick them from anywhere. The NCA needs to work tirelessly to ensure that um, we are safe, uh, aviation regulations are kept. So they can go a, a, a step further by taking their names to the airlines and ensure that the airline does not pick them or anybody very close to them. This will serve as a deterrent to people or to the VIPs who think that flouting the law is a regular thing, is a thing they can do and get away away with it. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Wale Shadari, Aviation Editor, Daily Telegraph. A pleasure to have you on the news. Thank you for having me.